Yo, what's up? Come on in. So we're here right now at Parachute Studios in Kingsland, Auckland, working in our brand new Come on up and I'll show you around. <laughs> So this is the main kind of open space area for people to chill out, couches, magazines. This is the kitchen where we drink coffee. Good espresso machine right here. Also got the Nespresso over here. If you want something nice and quick, make a pretty good, uh, pretty good brew real quick. Um, obviously we're on the Supreme grind. Wise words right there. Follow me back on Twitter, Katy Perry, what's going on? So inside here we've got the parachute offices where everybody uh, gets their grind on. Monday to Friday, we're working on the festival stuff right now. Uh, obviously no one's here because it's Saturday, so we've got free reign of the place. Come follow me, I'll take you to the studio. So this is Parachute Studios. This is where we've been hanging out for the last few days working on guitars. So right over here we've got the pre-release Xbox One. Xbox New Zealand will kind enough to hook us up. And Monster Energy, shout out to our friends at Monster for keeping this stocked up for us. We've got that new absolutely zero. Zero carbs, zero sugar, mad flavors. Oh, Killer Instinct right here. So this is, uh, this is coming out on Xbox One. So in between takes we've been uh, playing Killer Instinct, it's pretty cool, I mean Killer Instinct was a game that I grew up playing, you know, in Spacey Pilot, so it's killer that they've remade it. So Xbox One coming out in about a month's time, but we were lucky enough for Xbox to hook us up for the pre-release version for the studio so that we could jam out. And yeah, shout out to Xbox. Come over here, we'll show you uh, the main recording room. This is where all the magic happens. Right now we've got all the mics set up right here on an uh, orange 4x12 cab with vintage 30s in it. Sounds really killer. And uh, if you follow me, I'll take you into the control room. You can see what we've been working on. So this is the control room. We've got Ross over here. Hey, howdy. So this is where uh, Zach's been working on getting a really killer guitar tone for us the last few days and yeah I think we're gonna run you through our rigs next up so alright cool so for rhythm I've been using BC Rich Mockingbird Pro X Gold Top uh, Seymour Duncan 59 Custom in the bridge Pearly Gates in the middle and a Jimmy Clip String Dampener on the top keep everything nice and tight so that's been my main rhythm and then for leads using the BC Rich Retro Gunslinger uh, with the Seymour Duncan SH6 in there. All right, so for our main rhythm tone, we're using a combination of the Fractal Audio XFX2 modded 5150. Using the Fractal Audio for effects such as Tube Screamer, Whammy. We're using the MFC 101 MIDI foot controller and the Mission Engineering SP1 foot pedal for the Whammy effects. Uh, and we've also been using the Maxim OD808 for our lead tone as well. Now all of this goes into an orange 4x12 with B30s and a combination of mics. So on this record um, I've been using the brand new Blackjack SLS series Hellraiser. Uh, Sheik that hooked me up with this um, just before we flew out of LA at the end of our last tour. It's a killer killer guitar. Um, I've been playing Sheik for years and I'm, I mean I love the, the C1 shape. Um, this one's really really light. So the SLA series is like a slim line. It's killer light, um, it sounds amazing. I've got the Seymour Duncan blackouts, both on the neck and the bridge. And um, yeah, shout out to Seymour Duncan and Schechter for looking after me, it's been, uh, it's been killer. So I've, I've used this for the rhythms and the leads on this record and I'm really, really stoked with how it sounds. Obviously, like Ross said, we're using the XFX and the 5150 combo. And we've got a really, really killer tone. Zach's managed to pull out some really, really great sound from, from that rig, so we're real psyched on how it's sounding. Uh, for this album, I'm going to be using the Jackson JS3 that I picked up when we were in the States last 
always liked Jason guitars, especially their basses, they just look so metal and cool. And the sound is really good as well, I just put some new strings on yesterday, and a little pluck on it, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Um, haven't really set up a bass tone sound yet, but we're going to start kicking into it tomorrow. Got my sands in there, ready to go, so I know that'll provide like a really good sound. And I'm hoping, well, I know it's going to sound really chunky and hopefully get a bit of distortion on there. Really hope it kicks through and sounds really good in this next album. That's one. Can we please keep it? That yeah, was amazing. Can we, can we... 